It's time to check your position at the harp and how to sit when you're playing the harp. This is very important because it helps us to get the best possible sound out of our harp by setting ourselves up for good technique, but also it helps to make sure that you don't cause pain while you're playing the harp. And that would be a terrible thing because we want to create beautiful music. We want it to feel joyful and give you a sense of freedom, not to feel painful and difficult. I also wanted to ask you, are you already having pain while you're playing your harp? If so, please put it down in the comments, explain your situation to us, and maybe someone will have some good suggestions to help you figure out the problem. The first thing you need to consider when you're looking at how you sit at the harp is what chair are you sitting on? I suggest that you don't practice on a couch or a sofa um, or sitting on the floor because we really want to set up a good framework for having good techniques so that you're not kind of fighting against your environment. So you want to sit on something that allows you to have your um, feet stable on the ground, that your knees are slightly lower than your hips and it may be helpful for you to have a little bit of back support. The chair I'm sitting in right now doesn't have back support, but that can really be helpful. Um, so if you want to have a look, there's a, a link down in the description box um, where we will show you some recommendations for what chairs you might consider when you're playing the harp. But a dining chair with a back, um, with a little bit of back support should be good. We also wanna make sure that we're sitting up and not completely hunching over. Um, but we don't wanna be sitting up to complete attention like this, cause that's just not a healthy position, overextending your back like that. So rather just sit up in a relaxed position, let your head balance on your body. You can think of a string pulling up through the center of your head. Make sure your arm, your shoulders are relaxed and then your body is ready for your harp. Also make sure that your head is straight that you're not turning to the side or hunching your shoulders up, but also you're not tilting your head around as you're playing the harp. Let's get your body nicely in alignment and then we're gonna bring the harp to you. What we often find is that people kind of hunch over their harps and or bring their harp up nice and close and then hunch over like this and we don't want that. That's kind of accommodating your body to the harp. We wanna rather have your body in a nice position and then bring the harp to you. Now let's look at how we bring the harp to you. The first thing we've got to figure out is where is the balance point on your harp? This is something you may not have heard of. Um, so your harp is going to start out by sitting on its four legs, um, or three legs in my case, <laughs> and then you're going to pull your harp back a little bit. In the beginning, you'll feel like the harp wants to fall forwards, and then there'll come a point where your harp wants to start falling backwards. Okay, so falling backwards here, here it's falling forwards. So you wanna find the middle point where it kind of feels like it's almost floating in midair. That is the balance point of your harp. And when you play, you want your harp to be pulled back onto your shoulder a little bit past the balance point. So it shouldn't have a, a heavy weight, especially if you have a big harp, you don't want it to be pulling way back. Um, that would be if the base of my harp is further forwards, it can end up being quite heavy. Um, and we also don't want it to be sitting on its four legs, then you having to lean to your harp. Although there are some harps that have that design, but on the whole, you want it to be leaning back. Um, and also you don't want it to just be leaning only slightly so that when you move your shoulders a little bit, it might start falling forwards because then you're gonna feel like you have to hold onto your harp. It should be just enough that it's resting lightly on your shoulder. Um, and if you move yourself a little bit like this, it's not falling forwards, but it's not heavy. Then the other common mistake that people make is that they have their harp directly coming onto their shoulder so that they can't really see the strings and then you start turning your head around. So let me demonstrate that here. And um, we don't want our harp coming straight down the center of our body. We also don't want it coming straight onto your shoulder like this because it's hard to see the strings. We wanna turn the front column of your harp a little bit to the left so that I can then very easily see my strings without turning my head. And then I can stay up in alignment while my harp is coming to my body. The next thing we're gonna learn about is arm position. So click over here to learn how to hold your arms when you're playing the harp.